Alrighty. Howdy neighbors and welcome back to A Kill or Love. Last time we found out how... What's his name? Jack and Grace got together. And how Anna was just creepy from the start. We're just kind of going through the motions. Figuring out what happened. Anyway, let's continue. The brownies were tasty. And now any, Grace said so. I wanted to throw the brownies into the trash, but Grace caught wind of them too quickly. I feel like a blood hound of sweet stuff, chocolate especially. And then, of course, I had to explain where I got them. Weird. I know, right? In no way, it's a coincidence. Yeah, it must be a sign. Sign of what? That she's stalking me? You know, it is weird that she was stalking me. Said she knew where I lived. But that she didn't know about Grace. I mean, she... Couldn't have known how surprised she was. I don't think she was acting. Was it just a coincidence then? A coin dance? No, absolutely not. That I refuse to accept. I think we'll go say hi. I can make something for her too. If you have any butter left, I want to pick her some cookies. Yeah, you know what, you most of most of them on your own. Hey! I was at the point of going to visit her though. We'll see more than enough of her anyway, we live so close by. We're neighbors, I want us to get started on the right foot. And maybe she and I could be friends. I think that'd be nice. I have my arms around her. Of course, you deserve that. But please, find a friend that's not her. Why? It's again, I can't properly explain why. I can't put it down as anything more than a hunch. A gut feeling I'd get whenever I'm near her. I've at least got to see her for myself. See, she's really such a horrible person. Trust me, you're better off without it. The next day in the afternoon, I was laying on the, our sofa. I was just like a headache. I've been with me since the morning. Very soon she'd be right back. She went out of the apartment with something in her hands. And then smell of freshly baked cookies wafted out of the kitchen. It still took me about two minutes to piece the puzzle together. Shit. I whispered. I was immediately up. Not good, not good. And it struck me harder than I would expect. It was like with Grace seeing Anna all by herself, some vulnerable part of me was exposed. I wanted to bring Grace back and lock the door to keep her safe and never ever let her out of my sight. I also didn't want to go in there. I just stood there, head in my hands, wondering what the hell to do. All at once I was telling myself to go there. You coward, but also stay here, you idiot. And somewhere far away, in a tiny little voice, very tiny, very little, I was telling me I was overreacting. It was a sound of glass breaking. I got from, where else, in his apartment. I went to the wall that separated our apartments. And now there was no sound at all, nothing, nothing to explain the crash. I finally overcame my cowardice. I started the apartment to hers. When I got there, I saw broken glass and blood. Chris kneeling down, and Anna stood above her, and. They were both smiling. Except when they noticed I was there, I had breath confused. Jack? Hi, Jack. Did you decide to join us? No, I. What the hell is going on? This? And waved her hand over the floor. And all the bits of glass. Why ceramic, actually? Also scattered cookies and drops of blood. Yes, that. So yet the blood made me feel sick. I was gonna throw up. I could peel my eyes away from it. I always been like that on blood. I never had the stomach for it. I was just picking up the broken pieces of ceramic. It was a little accident. An accident? 
Yes, what else? Grace, what happened? It's my fault, really. The cookies were harder than I thought, and I dropped the whole plate. It was Anna's plate, too. Be careful, Grace. You might cut yourself. She's got herself a righty look. Hmm? She only now seemed to notice the blood around her. But I... You checked your hands. And then we ran a few tests to see that from every ankle we found no cuts there. It's not me. It's my blood. Huh? And it was, I just noticed, holding her left hand tightly on her right. A little blood trickling from between her knuckles. Oh no. Grace's hands were hovering around Anna's. She looked willing to help, but afraid that she would do something wrong. How does this even happen? I've got to pick up some of the pieces. They're pretty sharp, aren't they? Well, on, Anna, I'll... It's fine. I don't need you to do anything. The way Anna said it was forceful, almost harsh. Grace backed away. I can still help. I remembered I was there. Jack, go get some gauze. We have gauze. Oh, useless. Frustrated, more frustrated than I ever seen her before, Grace ran off to get the gauze herself. She left me there, in the belly of the beast. She tried being polite. Shame about the cookies. A real shame. I didn't get to eat a single one. Well, actually. She picked up one with the free fingers in her left hand. None of her blood got on the cookie. I could say anything you shade in one bite. Jesus. They're not bad at all. They're so warm. Do you want one? I'll pass. God, you make me sick. Not a very nice thing to say, Jack. But no one else said it. But I'll forgive you. She licked her lips. Ugh. <laughs> it's like an involuntary gross. Ugh. I should have left. I was like a frog being stared down by a snake. I was taking Grace so long. I must be flustered. Poor girl. I don't want to worry about a teeny little cut. I'm not serious. It's not. How would you know? I've seen a lot of cuts. I can imagine. And I laughed. I'm a nurse. That I could not imagine. It's not hard to believe. But I see proof of it every day. There's a lot of blood. You don't believe me. Look. Show me your hand. Ugh. The cut ran from the base of her thumb to the middle of her hand. It was thin, but long and ragged. The skin around the wound was around the wound was pale and moist. I mean how fresh the cut was. I could have puked. Ooh. Does it look bad? No worry, I won't have a scar. Stop that. Really it I remember what I was gonna say. Was it nice in any case? I thought it was Chris coming back. Sorry, sorry. There wasn't any gauze. Here. <clears throat> she brought a roll of pink toilet paper. I hope this is good enough. Thank you, Grace, but I don't need it. You don't? No, see? The blood stopped. And it flashed me a smile. Caught if her mouth was still red. August 13th. Good day today. Just the Anna wants. But enough of that. <laughs> After what happened? Where I left off yesterday. I was sure Grace and I were on the same page. But no. In the end, I was the one who cleaned up the bloody mess on the floor. I threw away the cookies before Anna could get her hands on any more. Back in my apartment, Grace let out a long sigh. What mess, am I right? Yeah, and it was all my fault. I meant Anna. You did just meet her, right? Yeah. And? Well, I can see why you've been avoiding her. That's what you mean. Thank you. She's... She's beautiful. I thought she was some shy little girl. A crazy cat lady or something. She's like a model. What? No! Try to deny it, Jack. That's why you don't want to go near her, isn't it? I don't want to be tempted. I shook my head. I really don't see her that way. Now, with a little more perspective, I can say it's true. What a waste of good looks. 
much more beautiful than I am. Hey, don't say that. She's not. She is. Face dropped her gaze and stared at her hands. She wasn't mad that it ruined her plate. She wasn't scared of the blood either. She's just so... I took her hands in mine. They were cold. Grace. Jack? You are beautiful. And a kind. More beautiful and kind than any other girl in the world. Look as hell to have you. My cheeks burn. It was a like a tomato. I wasn't used to saying stuff like this. I mean it. I don't say stuff like that. Okay? Oh. Grace blinked like she'd just woken up. Oh. Um, I've been saying a lot of dumb stuff, I guess. I'm sorry. I'm a real hassle, huh? No, don't say that. I don't say you're sorry, either. You've done nothing to feel sorry for. She apologized way too often. August 15th. We missed the 14th. I didn't write anything yesterday. <laughs> Pain in my leg made it so I couldn't focus. I've been hurting like a bitch these past few days. I even asked the doctor about it. He's fine, by the way. Didn't disappear or anything. But taking a few days off. Asked him about the pain. Asked if he could do anything about it. Apparently, the pain was a good sign. I think that's what he said. Guess my leg is healing all right. That still hurts. Yeah, pain should not be a sign of good things are happening. <laughs> <clears throat> we are so happy for your agony. That means that great things are coming up for you. Like, what? <clears throat> but it still hurts. The doctor went away. I complained out loud that it hurt. One of the other patients must have thought that I was talking to him. Patients here are not the same guys I mentioned before. Maybe one is. That's all. The others went away. Another part of the hospital. Or home. I remember to the morgue. Oh, no, I wasn't keeping track. There says something about how I like hurt. The guy in the bed next to mine. A kid, actually. He had more than 18 or 19. So he's talking to me. I think he was saying he's in a lot of pain, too. I couldn't understand most of it, though. His jaw had been wired shut. The thing he tries to say turns into moans and a lot of drool. Then the nurse came in, not Anna, and told him he shouldn't speak if he wants his mouth to get better. So he shut off. Not much else has happened. Where my leg really is bothering me. It's a deep pain. It doesn't feel like it's healing. It feels wrong. I went through my teeth hurt, too. I'll stop with the leg now. I have to get my mind off it. It hurts so much. I'll check where I left off the day before yesterday and go from there. You're not coming with us. Again? No, I don't feel like it. But Anna is so great to hang out with. I said we went window shopping. Then we went to a cafe, and then we had ice cream in the park. Sounds fun. It was. And that's a really interesting person. You should give her a chance. I want us all to be friends. So please come along? No, I'll pass. Sorry. A moment later, Anna came in without knocking. She never knocked anymore. Ready, Grace? Yeah, in a minute. Grace heaved a sigh. Are you sure you don't want to come? Yeah, I'm sure. Go have fun without me. Okay then, some other time. We kissed. Yeah, look at her face! Have fun. We will. Bye. Oh, bye! Chris and Anna became friends. Good friends. But very soon after they met. I was against it. But I found it hard to complain, seeing Chris so happy. They spent quite a lot of time together. Whenever I said anything about this, Grace would tease me. She'd say I was jealous. But she would also invite me to come with. I always declined. I eventually got used to it. 
and things were quiet for a while. Once at the store, I was applying discounts during work hours. It should have been done before we opened up, but someone had been slacking off. I won't point fingers. It was Dal and the old guy. <clears throat> I'm the one stuck wondering what kind of dog food is 20% the 20% should go on. It's something like that. The lists they gave us were always terrible. So full of corrections you could barely read them. Her shoes! Oh, they're so cute! I love them. I was about to choose at random where to apply the discount. And someone put their hand on my shoulder. Oh, Anna. The tenant's to my chest, but it passed within seconds. As I said, I got used to it. It doesn't scare me anymore. Hi. How are you, Jack? I'm right, thanks. Hey, no question. Do you like big dogs or small dogs? Hmm? Big dogs, I guess. I see. And now place a sticker on reduced prices to dog food. They have one of those winner dogs in the packaging. Grace in the break room, by the way. I know, I was just there. But I want to see you. Yeah? Why? I haven't seen you at all in the past week, you know. Didn't you notice? I guess. I was called into work a lot. I must have been busy here too. Yep, busy, busy. We should meet more often. After all these years apart. It must... Oh, we must have a lot of stories to tell, hmm? Yeah, maybe. Dots. Jack, you mentioned dogs, right? Right. Was it because of Buddy? It was Buddy. Hmm. I really don't remember anything. Nope. I remember this buddy, and I don't remember knowing you either. Of course, now I know about Buddy. I don't remember his breed or how old he was, or anything other than his name, really. But I do know of him. A certain picture book told me. It's really too bad. But it'll all come to you, I'm sure. Who knows? Buddy was a really sweet dog. You liked him a lot. I shrugged. And he loved you. But then again, that dog loved everyone. He was so trusting. Do you trusting? Sure he was. Are you really fine with not knowing about so much of your life, Jack? Yeah, I am. I'm used to it by now. I think it would feel weird if I could remember, actually. I suppose it's easier, in a way. There are some things best forgotten after all, aren't there? Huh, yeah. Huh, yeah. Of course there are. And I wish some of those things would have had the decency to stay forgotten. <clears throat> Why mention it now, though? Uh, no reason. Just a little curious. Uh huh. I didn't believe her. I said that there was something in particular she wanted me to remember. I do know what it is now. I still don't know why she wants me to remember what she did. Is it some sick form of love? Does she want to finish this job? Is it both? Uh, no, I really don't. Her mind is as much of a mystery to me now as it ever was. Interlude. Anna in Wonderland. Why do we have an interlude? Okay. Dear Diary, I found him. It was beautiful. It was like fate. It was fate. As I came to the city, I caught a scent in the air. Ew! A little. But mostly I smelled homeless people in gasoline. Why did you go all the way out here, Jack? You love nature. The smell of pines. Where you grew up. I was ready to spend weeks looking for you, Jack. Or months, yes, if I had to. I even got a job at the hospital here. I'm understaffed, so it was easy. But there you were. The first door I went to. I didn't even go in to look for you. Fate, fate, fate. But you were a little strange. 
Surely you recognize me. I haven't changed that much, have I? I mean, it's been a while, and I have tried to make myself pretty for you. In every way I could think of. But you knew it was me, right? I know it was you. You haven't forgotten me. We are pretending, playing a game. Yeah, that must be it. Well, I'd love to wait and see what you're doing, dear. But I've been a patient girl for far too long. Dear Diary, Friday. Jack Friday. I know he changed his name to that. But it's just so funny, isn't it? We'll have to change it back, Jack. For when we're married. I want the real one to follow my first name. Huh? Jack Friday. It made me giggle when I saw it in your employee record, Starling. I just had a peek, nothing more. Just to see where you live. I wanted to follow you home at first, then I thought, hey, wouldn't it be insanely romantic if the next time you saw me, we lived next, right next to each other? I know you're playing a little game of you don't know me anymore, but that's not too much, is it? Being neighbors? You won't be angry, right? If it makes you angry, I have to at least do this, right? I can't wait anymore. I'm tired of being by myself. I've waited this long already. I'm prepared for you. I have prepared for you so much. Maybe you won't be mad. Please don't be mad. Please. P.S. One other thing, darling. That street where you live isn't it in a terrible part of town. Run down and cheap and even dangerous. I haven't been here for long, but I think that's right. Is that a part of your game too? I'm working in a store. That must be it as well. Someone like you should never work there. I said you should be a... Gosh, I can't even imagine what. But isn't that perfect? I don't want you working anywhere. I want you all for me. Dear Diary. This shit is worse than I thought. God smell. Do you really know what you're doing, Jack? No, no, I shouldn't doubt you. I know. No, it's cheap at least. Very cheap. But more important than that or anything else, there's a vacant apartment right next door to your apartment. I can't wait to move in. We'll be neighbors. I'll see so much of you, it'll make you drunk. Dear Diary, what a beautiful dump. I said this to the landlord when I brought my things here. He thought I was complaining. He said I should have checked out the apartment before I rented it. He's an idiot. There'd be a swarm, there could be a swarm of rats or roaches living in the apartment, or crack addicts for that matter, and I wouldn't give it on. But still, I can't keep it dirty forever. I have to practice my homemaking skills. Time to make the stump a home. Dear Diary Just back from a quick jog. Gotta stay in shape. And the brownies are just about done. I know, I know, I should have kept an eye on them. But I've been doing this for long enough, you know. The brownies are perfect. Not burnt, not raw, just right. I hope he likes them. Jack? I don't know if I can go on. Who is this girl? I'm the one for you, the only one for you. And yet you... I know that's part of your plan. But you don't have to do it this way. Why are you being so cruel? I have to work now. I don't care. I'll go sleep. Dear Diary, I cried all the bad feelings out. These will seem nearly as bad now. Jack is testing me, so I have to show him that I have what it takes. This is nothing at all. I could do this. Dear Diary, I met her today. Grace. I hope she doesn't get in the way. She's a sweet girl. But she's clumsy. She dropped a plate. My plate, too. Of cookies. There were cookies and broken pieces of porcelain everywhere. I 
I'm pretty clumsy too, I guess. I cut myself on a shard, and I tried to pick it up. Jack came in, just as I got cut. He must have sensed I was hurt. And a lot of blood from the wound so small. The blood reminded me of that time. It always does. I showed it to Jack. It looked like he was gonna vomit. Great acting, Jack. I love you. Dear Diary, I've gotten better at playing along with Jack's little game. I see him a lot more now, everywhere I go. Nearly half of those times. I'm not even trying to make our paths cross. Fate. I'm also seeing Grace a lot, a lot more. If I was asking me to go somewhere with her, or to chat, she's always coming over to my apartment without Jack. She's become a real bother, honestly, but act nice. That girl tells me things about Jack after all. <clears throat> of course, she doesn't say anything about Jack that I don't. That's because she doesn't really know Jack. But I know what he's pretending to be like. He told Grace that he has amnesia. It's a little unoriginal, Jack, don't you think? That's okay, though. She believes you. A dumb little... Dear Diary, I'm troubled. I'm starting to think that Jack is not pretending. What if he really has forgotten all about me? No, I can't have that. I need a sign, Jack. Just one little sign. So that I know you remember. One sign, and I think it's fine. Dear Diary, Jack doesn't remember me. Pretty sure of it now. He doesn't remember anything. Darn. But that's a good thing. He hasn't been acting cold on purpose. I'll give his memory a little jog, and that'll be that. Good as new. But that also means that he's serious about that Grace girl. We can't have that. No, no. I'm starting to see her true colors. She's a filthy seductress. I think that's how you say that. All right. She's also an idiot. She invited me for dinner tomorrow at her apartment. Their apartment. You mean Jack's apartment? The apartment they're sharing together. Without me. August 16th. Terrible day. Really awkward. Anna was hovering around me all day. I swear she... She was here for... Mork than two shifts. How the bell does that? How the bell does that work? I could didn't write it all. She's only gonk now, but it's after midnight. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't mark this as the 17th then, not the 16th. Oh, who cares? Now, I have to write in the dark, but that's Fink. I don't see it being a problem. After, oh, so not long after. Did I? Ritk about how Emma came to see me at the store that one time. Yeah, I just not long after the bat, Grace invited Anna over for dimmer. She could have told me before asking Emma. Not that I would have said no. I didn't have an excuse to say no but I mean she only had mk oh she only told mk about the dimmer a few hours before it yeah I was preparing no it's prepare oh god 
I can't read. Preparing for a really relaxed ironing. And all of a sudden, Grace says, we should start making dimmer. And I know! I forgot to tell you, Jack. I shouldn't be so bitter and childish. People forget. It happens. Why is the background being weird? <coughs> <coughs> she didn't mean anything bad by it. It still rubbed me the wrong way, though. Anna was going to invade my honk and be there for hours. And I'm pretty sure I had every right to be angry about to bed. No, I'm sure. I should have sent her packing the first time I saw her. And then when she moved in next door to me, next, next door to us, excuse me, and the million timks after that. I should have. The fault is Min E. So, yeah, dimmer. The food tastes amazing, Jack. Thanks, I barely made anything. It's chapter 4, goodbye. I'm gonna end this episode here. While we're having dimmer. So, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully, I will see you later.